Our customer's been asking for a, uh, a comparison on Trickstead 872E Tech Big Bores. Um, it was uh, April 16th and we got a fresh snow last night. Uh, a 2013 146E Tech, a 872E uh, Tech Big Bore um, from Trickstead Motorsports. <laughs> and for comparison, we didn't have anything exactly identical, but we brought a 2012. Summit X 154 E Tech uh, with a stock motor. Um, it is high altitude, uh, Star Valley Skidoo uh, clutching on it. So it performs super well. Uh, comparison side by side, you may not see much difference for first track, first track from a 154 to a 46 in the fresh snow. Today, this 46 should be to the disadvantage. Uh, and all the conditions and we'll try to set up enough shops we're not going to alter it try to pump it up any different than than the way you see it um, but where the uh, 872 big bores really shine is for those short runs instant response and uh, they'll handle the long pulls uh, fabulously uh, where a stock sled will peter out its performance uh, the E-Tech 872 big bore will will just keep keep pulling all the way through. Again, we're on a 146 2013 uh, SP E-Tech with a Trickstead 872 big bore in it. This is where we really love uh, the 872 big bores. Um, Trickstead has done a phenomenal job at building this uh, mid-range torque and peak horsepower, just the combination of the E-Tech motor and his top secret engine work is awesome. Um, when we start climbing hills, the first shot between a stock sled, the stock sleds run so well this year, there's not a huge performance difference. But obviously on this hill it showed that it was 20 feet, maybe 30 feet lower very first shot and then the second run the big board just accelerated out of the end of the track um, we're running a very consistent seven and in the right conditions 10 miles an hour faster track speed than a stock sled um, and as, as the hill gets bigger and the trail gets more packed it just starts separating the big board between a stock sled and a big board the separation gets bigger um, we're going to beat this hill up for a while, video on both, both sleds, and try to monitor the speed the best we can. But uh, my guess by looking at this, four or five shots, I'll probably be the top of this hill on uh, Dave's big bore, uh, the 872 E-Tech. And uh, the stock sled, my guess, and every condition is going to have to be perfect for it just to make it to the top of this hill. Okay, uh, Mike hit that hill back here um, about four or five times with the 872 big bore. So he made it about 20 feet from the top there on that, I think it was the fifth run. Um, now I'm gonna hit it with the stalker in his track and see if I can even get to his higher mark. 
Um, I doubt it's going to be possible, but I'm just going to keep hitting it to see if I can get to his mark. Okay, I just reached the, his upper mark. Um, I lost track of count how many times I went up, but had to have been seven or eight. And I just barely, nine or 10 or 11, I don't, that's stock 154, 2012, running really well. Um, and that's how long it took me to get to his mark that took him four tries to get to. Now the 872 um, really shines in boondocking. That's where uh, you really find that you can, you can come around a tree and just honk on the gas and it's right there right now, pulls the skis up. Um, when it's really tight and really, you know, really steep areas um, within the trees, you've got to have that instantaneous power to be able to turn and head back uphill. Um, that's where the stalkers tend to lack a little bit. So when you put the 872 on them, man, it just gives you that raw, quick power to turn uphill and get, get moving again. Hey, this is Tom Walters. I work for Star Valley Skidoo, and I'm also the owner of Extreme Air Vents. Um, today, um, being able to ride the 872 E-Tech Big Boars, um, it's amazing. Uh, stock E-Tech sleds are phenomenal, phenomenal this year, between 12 and 13. Then we put an 872 on them, and it just gives you that raw, nasty torque and horsepower that everybody's looking for. Um, they pull all day long, you can ride them just like a stalker, um, pump gas, and they're just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, love to ride them, and you have to worry zero about reliability. The E-Tech motor is so reliable. Um, the way that Dave set up the 872, um, it goes right along with that same reliability that we're already getting out of the E-Tech motors. This shot here, we're just <clears throat> trying to give you some, some perspective of uh, what they can do against each other on a hill. We, we're gonna make fresh tracks up this hill with, and show you the, we started at the exact same time at the bottom of the hill and the E-Tech e Big Bore 872 uh, continued to pull away and that was fresh tracks on fresh tracks. I'll reset my gauge here and uh, while I'm recording, we're gonna select the top speed. Okay, here I am from about three quarters of the way up the hill. That's Mike down there with the 872 Big Boar. Getting ready to come up. A little different perspective from this view. I'm about 800, 900 feet up the hill here. And uh, the snow is actually pretty deep. This is our slope. Um, you can see the powder's pretty deep up here actually, so he should be, uh, coming up any minute. Oh no! 
that on me. One more. stock 154 and a big bore. Unfortunately we didn't have two 2013s here to do the comparison but from our experience the stock 13s and the stock 12s were very comparable as far as climbing up a hill. Um, hopefully in the next week or so we'll be able to do a comparison between two identical free rides that are 2013 race sleds. One of them with a race, um, an 872 trick stab in a race, um, race sled and then a stalker for the stock class. Um, so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. You can see that once you grow these things and you can see them on the hill, they just surpass a stalker in every aspect. Um, we weren't monkeying with any of the throttles or both sleds were pulling perfect RPM on every climb. Um, rider weight, Mike and I are within 10 pounds of each other. So that wasn't an issue. Um, so. Same, they both have the same track profile, two and a half inch tracks, just stock tracks. Um, but as you can see on some of those long pulls, the, the big bore would just pull away from me and he'd keep pulling and pulling and pulling where I, I was hitting a speed and I kept looking down, stock uh, track speed was 39 miles an hour and uh, he was pulling away from me on every, in every pull. Um, so you can see it in the video, in real life it's even better. Um, but once you've rode a big boar, you don't ever want to ride a stalker again. If you guys want to find out more information and keep up to speed with what we're doing, um, you can go to our website, www.starvalleyskidoo.com. You can also check out um, the link with extremeairvents.com. That's X-T-R-E-M-E, airvents.com. And also you can go to tricksteadmotorsports.com. Check out the latest videos that we're doing. Um, you can see the product on Dave Trickstead's website, and also you can check out the events from Extreme Air Events. Um, and the cool thing about all three of them together, they all work together. Um, but check us out at StarValleySkidoo.com, and you'll be able to check out all our videos, as well as the uh, continuing process of the product development. Right it.